Hi, Capricorn, uh, Taurus, and Virgo. Thank you so much for coming to your weekly general reading. Um, this reading is for um, the energy for the week, as well as any obstacles that's going to come and also an outcome. With that being said, it should resonate for sun, moon, rising, or Venus. If you haven't already, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you want to receive alerts for when I post my readings. So with that being said, let's just go ahead and hop into it. I'm going to start with Capricorn first because, I mean, it's alphabetical, I guess, in my mind. Um, all right. What is the energy for the week for Capricorn? Okay, what's the energy for Capricorn? Okay, so I have the moon reversed. Um, I like that energy. It's like something's finally, something that's been hidden is maybe being exposed right now. And I feel like this is going to make you very happy. Or it's like something subconsciously you knew was coming in, probably money, or something that's going to provide a level of stability, possibly with a Cancer or a Pisces. May have something to do with this. All right. Stop rambling. I'll, I'll keep going. What's an obstacle? What's an obstacle for this week? For Capricorn, possibly an Aquarius. What was an obstacle? The full reversed. Okay, so this definitely, and it's interesting because you have two major arcana that are upside down. So an Aquarius or a Pisces. And what's the overall outcome for Capricorn? Okay, two of wands, Aries, Mars and Aries. I feel like... For a period of time, okay, I think that you guys have been going back and forth or trying to make some type of decision as to what is fair, right? What is the right choice to make? Whether that's you physically moving, whether that's investing a level of money or um, anything of that nature, okay? So I just want to throw that out there. Some of you also may be dealing with a Libra or having legal issues that are going on that have kind of confused you or really like... I don't want to say muck, but like um, made like your vision very foggy. It's like, I feel like for a period of time, it's like your head's almost been in the clouds. Why is the moon reversed here for the energy? Because of the ace of wands. So obviously what's going on here is something that's probably been in the works for a while, possibly a new job. Um, or, or, or some, something new is definitely coming. Like there, there's almost like um, a breath of fresh air, I feel like. But it's something that's been in the works for a while. And I feel like, you know, the energy is you finally feel like it's starting to come off of the ground. Possibly with um, a fire sign, Aries, Sag, or Leo, or an Aries or a Cancer. It's also an energy where you feel very good. Like this is an energy where it, it, it's very sexy. It's like, almost like Stella got her groove back. You're feeling good. Um, I just feel like there's a lot of new starts going on for the energy. Look, the sun is here. There's Leo. Some of you may be uh, welcoming a child this week or finding out that you're pregnant. That may be a possibility, but this energy is very good. It's like the moon is reversed with the sun. Like those are the opposites, right? There's a level of light being shed here with where you need to move, where you need to go. And up until this point, um, or currently what's going on for this week, so we have a new start coming, obviously, right? But our obstacle is a full reversed. So I feel like it. it I feel like don't get mad at me, Capricorn, but it's almost like there's a calculated decision that has to be made here. The problem is it's like not wanting to like, it's like, okay, how do I put this? Somebody's thinking too logically, okay? Because for me, it's like the fool is just kind of like, fuck it. Like it goes where the wind goes. Like the fool is, some, is somebody that, you know, doesn't care what the outcome is, where I feel like the fool reversed is one, um, you know, this new start, you may be worried that it's too risky, Okay, whatever is coming in. Sorry about that. All right, so I was asking, why is the full reversed? Why, why is the full reversed? Or why is this reversed from the obstacle? Three of Wands. Okay. So 
you may have actually heard news about a new adventure that you're going to go on. Maybe it's traveling. Maybe it's like um, some type of vacation or something like that. But there's there's a level of wait here. It's like you're waiting for some type of information. Look right as I said that. Look what flew out. Okay. Uh, possibly coming from a Taurus or a Cancer or an Aquarius. Because the star is here with the Ace of Swords. It's like, I feel like before... Uh, Okay, the block is you're waiting for something to come through. You're waiting for some type of either documentation, some type of confirmation verbally, as well as in writing that you have the ability to move how you want to move. That's what I'm getting strongly. Yeah. It's also being hopeful. It's like having a level of energy and it's heavy Aquarius energy too right here, which makes sense. Like this is very Aquarius, right? Um, but it's weird. It's like something you're hoping for, like you're waiting on it. How is that an obstacle? It's like you're still waiting it out to make sure that it's right for everybody. That's what I'm getting. Now the two of wands is here. Why is the two of wands here? Why is the two of wands here for the outcome for Capricorn? Why is the two of wands here? Outcome for Capricorn. It's just a matter of time with the page of cups. Okay. So here's the thing. I, I do feel like the outcome of whatever's happening is I feel like you're going to receive whatever you're going to need here, right? Because this ace of wands is going to the two of wands. So there is a level of progression even though the three of wands is in the middle. So that's ultimately what's holding it up. But it looks like at the end, it's like you finally have a clear vision of how you're going to move. And I feel like it's, it's something that surprises you because maybe it just was really unexpected, possibly to do with kids, somebody you love, or a Scorpio. You know, it's funny though, right? It's like something, you find something out that's very uh, fulfilling. Right. That makes you happy. Some of you even may be traveling, traveling, traveling back home, maybe seeing your kids, maybe seeing your family. Um, what do you want me to tell Capricorn about the outcome? OK, it's something that you've been thinking very heavily on. All right. Especially with the eight of swords in the universe, this is big Capricorn energy as well as any of the fixed signs. But, you know, this is Jupiter in Gemini. And I feel like when people have a Jupiter and Gemini, it's like they they have to figure out how they want to expand. And it's also a level of expansion with keeping your mind right. Like, I feel like whatever has gone on here, I feel like it's something that you've been thinking about very heavily. Right. And it's something that's been really putting you through hell, especially with the eight of swords. And now it's like you have the universe. So it's like this hard time is now like that chapter is being closed. There's some type of transformation that happens this week where it gives you the level of movement that you've needed. I feel like up until this point, you felt stuck. Like there was something that wasn't seen. There's something that you didn't know. But now I feel like that block is being um, removed. Okay. So Capricorn, if you want to find out more about what's going on with love, uh, finances and career, uh, spiritual work, shadow work, as well as advice, please feel free to click on the link in the comment section below. Uh, it will take you straight to Vimeo where you can book your personal or where you can watch the extended. I'm sorry. Now I'm going to go ahead and hop into Taurus really quick. Let me clear the energy. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. What's going on? What's the overall energy for Taurus? Spirit, what's the overall energy for Taurus? Taurus. Okay, the universe. Some of you um, may be dealing with or, you know, having some type of situation with a Capricorn, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, or Scorpio. What's an obstacle for Taurus this week? What's an obstacle for Taurus this week, Spirit? Ten of Cups. I mean, I really don't feel like that's an obstacle, but let's keep going. Um, and what's the overall outcome for Taurus? What's the, what's the overall outcome for 
for this week for Taurus. Okay, so Taurus, it's interesting because it's the movement of Pentacles reversed, and that is Virgo reversed. Or that's, um, I'm sorry, not Virgo reversed. This is the Knight of Pentacles reversed. So it's interesting. I feel like there's something that you guys have really tried to be strong with. That's the first thing. I think it's something that you've tried to probably allow to play out how it needs to in your life, whether that's relationships, whether that's, you know, your career or, or anything for that matter, right? And I feel like you guys are definitely coming into a new chapter, right? Why is the, why is the world here? Why is the world here for the overall energy with the nine of cups? So it's interesting because you have the world, which is which is equivalent to the universe. And if you take a look, like there is a completion. Look at the circles. Here's also something, you know, I feel like you guys have been working really hard on some type of project. And it's finally like you're reaping the rewards of it. You receive a level of communication that, you know, whatever you've put in, you're now receiving. Like there was something really challenging that you guys went through that I feel like really affected you emotionally. And now for whatever reason, whether it's something that you had to detach from, um, whatever is going on, I feel like um, you guys are extremely happy right now. Jupiter and Pisces. You know, there's a sense of abundance. There's a sense that, you know, what you've wanted and what you've been waiting for is finally coming forward. Ooh. And look, the two of pentacles is reversed with the five of cups. And I do see the page of pentacles here. Okay, so this is um, Mars in Scorpio, and this is Jupiter in Capricorn, and these are both reversed. So here's, um, and then you have the Page of Pentacles below. Some of you may be in your head about your mom. I don't know why I'm telling you that, but that may be something, like something may be going on with your mom or there's something and maybe you just decide to like close that chapter or maybe you just decide to, I don't know. I'm supposed to tell you that though. Some of your guys' mothers are upset at you. You're like, how the fuck? Trust me, like I, I do think that there's, there's something going on there where they're upset. It's like you're not giving them enough attention. Like maybe you guys need to call them and just check on them and see how they're doing. Um, anyways, back to your reading, two of pentacles reversed, five of cups reversed, innocence of pentacles. So there's definitely been something here that I feel like you've been really holding on to, something that you've been very patient for, but something that has definitely caused a level of pain. Um, because maybe it just was too much, right? It's like time was going by and it wasn't moving as fast enough for you. It also is, too, um, with the Page of Pentacles, maybe there was finally some type of offer here that you've been waiting for, okay? That's coming in for you guys as well. Um, but I feel like the Five of Cups reversed and the Two of Pentacles, that's you. Yeah, I definitely feel like that's you guys. And it's it, it's very interesting because it's almost like, um, I feel like for some of you guys, it's like you just waited it out. Like you were the one that could wait it out the longest. That's also coming in, which is why you're being rewarded here. It's like because you were patient and because you did the right thing. Why is the obstacle the Ten of Cups here? Why is the obstacle the Ten of Cups for Taurus? Because of the sun? That doesn't make any sense. Here's the thing, okay? Sometimes with the Ten of Cups, if I had to look at it in a negative sense, 
you could be wrapped up in your emotions, okay? 10 is also equal to 1. 1 is also the sun. So you also have the sun here. So you... So it, it actually can be a physical Leo that is that is an obstacle for you right now, or it is a Pisces that may be an obstacle. But but what what I'm gathering or what I'm getting strongly, it can be too like a period of completion, right? It's like something's being completed, but I also feel like too, you know, part of the obstacles may be that you're living with your emotions. And there's not enough like logical thoughts because if you look here, there's 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 no source, right? It's primarily cups. Why is the ten of cups an obstacle? Okay. Okay, so we have the queen of cups here, which is Cancer, as well as the four of cups. You know, here's the thing. I feel like some of you guys like your security your security that you have is based on emotions, right? A lot of ours is. But with the four of cups, that's definitely um, moon and cancer, okay? It's like your stability, what, what may be an obstacle here is actually your stability or maybe the fact that, you know, you're too busy pouting, not you in particular, or, or are, are upset about something that needs to come in, right? Maybe there's something way too, like you have the nine of cups here and then the 10 of cups is the obstacle. It also can be, how do you go from the nine to the 10? Like you've manifested everything you want for yourself, but maybe what's an obstacle is manifesting something either as a couple or um, manifesting, you know, taking a level of action, right? Because um, Mars and Pisces is a tough placement. Mars and Pisces is one where it's just like, there's a lot of like cloudiness, right? There's a lot of secrets, but I think for you guys, it's really trying to figure out, you know, sitting here thinking, how do I go from the nine to the 10? Like some, something has to be retraced because that's what you are basing a level of stability on is on love or friendship. Okay. Two of cups. It can also be too, like you trying to put more than one person together. So maybe like you're dating somebody, for instance, and um, them and your best friend don't get along, right? It's like, listen, I have everything, everything here is going well for me. It's just putting all of my life together as one, right? It's like communication on something that's been stopping you from moving forward, but there is a level of friendship here or love, especially with the Cancer Venus. Something very significant, whether it's a relationship with a friend, relationship with your family, or a lover, like there's something here. Now your outcome is the movement of pentacles reversed. So obviously something's put on hold, but here's my thing, movement of pentacles, that's Gemini, or it's also um, Virgo. Why is this reversed? Because of the lovers, there's Gemini with the Ace of Cups, but why is it reversed? The Ace of Wands, okay. That makes sense to me. So here's the thing. I feel like usually how you guys um, have been going about it is very slow, right? Whatever has been going on has been taking a period of time. This is why the Two of Pentacles is reversed. The Five of Cups is reversed. Something that you've been waiting for, something that you really, really have invested a lot of time and energy to, even love, per se, like the movement of pentacles is reversed because things are going to start to pick up very quickly for you guys. Because there, there's something very beautiful here, especially with the lovers and the ace of cups and the ace of wands. There's a new beginning. Something new is starting that you feel like finally is, is getting to that place. Here's also an obstacle. Maybe family and love up until this point has been something where it's been challenging, whether you've been arguing or fussing or fighting with a significant other, with your family, it's like that's been an obstacle for you because it's like you have everything, but how do you put this one part back together, 
right? It's like that one person that has everything they want, but then they don't have that one person to spend it with. I'm not saying that's you guys, but it's like you have everything, right? Perception is you guys look very stable going into this month, but it's a very emotional week, I feel like, for you guys. And you're offered, you're made an offer. There's something here that is a brand new start for you guys, and it's really, really beautiful. Very, very, very beautiful, actually. But it's something that you've been wanting, something that you've been waiting for as well. Okay, if you guys want to uh, check out your extended, you can click on the link below. We're going to go over love, money, uh, spiritual shadow work. It's going to be dope. So if this reading resonates for you guys, uh, please feel free to check out the extended because that should resonate as well. And you can get a little bit more answers or more in depth. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and move on to the sign of Virgo. All right, Virgo, 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 for Virgo. What's the energy for Virgo this week? What's the overall energy for Virgo? Okay. Seven of Wands. What's an obstacle for Virgo right now? What's an obstacle for Virgo this week? Okay. Naked Heart. What's the outcome for this week for Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. What's the outcome for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus for this week? Okay, Heart of Wands. So there's uh, any fire sign, Aries, or Cancer. Here's the thing. It's, it's interesting. Okay, so for the Earth sign, something that I'm picking up very strongly is up, leading up to this week, week, there's been a lot of confusion, right? I feel like you guys are questioning yourself, questioning what actions to take, questioning what moves to take, questioning where you should put your energy into, um, you know, how you should move, what you're exactly supposed to be doing. And I think that for a period of time, that probably stalled something, especially with the seven of wands here. There's a very protective energy. Like some of you guys aren't going to want to deal with any shit. What's being protected? The Eight of Pentacles, okay? So your money, your work, some type of situation. It's like you're very protective and it's funny because Eight of Pentacles essentially is Virgo. But it's like you're very protective about what's yours. Like there's almost like a line drawn in the sand this week where you're like, no, this is mine, you stay the fuck over there, you know, and this is yours. Like, I feel like for you too, Virgo, this week, you're going to want some alone time. And maybe that's going to be communicated, especially with this Ace of Swords here. And that's clarified with the Hangman, Pisces, Aquarius. this is you. Okay. So the hangman is you right now. I feel like you guys need some time to yourself. I feel like you have a lot going on in your head. I think that you're trying to manifest something currently. And I just feel like you're, you're, you're stuck. It's like, you're working a lot. I think that some of you are maybe a little bit cranky. Um, I do feel like a sense of being drained. But also this week, it, it's a sense of solitude as well. But it's also, um, you may be, this week may come where you guys are having a different perspective on a situation, a work situation, a love situation, um, something that's held you up, right? Where you feel like, okay, maybe I need to take a step back and really look at this and really see exactly what's going on with everything. Because it, it, it's an energy where it's a very protective energy. But it's an energy where you're planning. It's like you're planning and manifesting. All right. Now we have the naked heart. And this is an obstacle. So obviously, emotionally, possibly with the Pisces, 
okay? Emotions right now are running high. And I think that when emotions run high, especially with Virgo, depending on wherever, you know, your other placements are, but sometimes it's like that's too much, right? Because adding that emotions into it just makes things a little bit more challenging. Um, also, too, a Pisces or a Gemini may be making an offer or possibly a water sign. Um, okay, hold on. What do you want me to tell them about the movement of cups as an obstacle? Drinking too much, partying. Be careful. That's something that's coming up. Okay, also, some of you, uh, heart. There's something here with your guys' heart. That's coming in strongly. Some of you may actually be sick too. Like I feel like some of you guys are home. Maybe that's why some of you guys are cranky because you guys are like sick, um, at home waiting. But I also feel like this as a block, it's like you're waiting for communication because whatever you're waiting for, I feel like Virgo, like you've been very clear with what you want and now you're waiting for this other party to reciprocate. That's the problem. Um, but I feel like there's a level of emotions that are also involved here, which is what makes things a little bit challenging. But I feel like it's something that you want to work towards or you want to work on like building this whether it's with work, whether it's moving, it's a foundation, like there's something here, but I feel like emotionally what's an obstacle for you is your emotions right now. You have to be careful with how you communicate with whatever is going on here, because especially with the movement of swords here, being Gemini, you know, Geminis are hella petty and they can pop off real quick. I'm saying that because I'm a jet, I'm a Gemini myself. So it's like, I know Sometimes my communication, especially when I'm in an emotional state, right? Like the moon in um, Cancer here, Cancer moon. Um, especially when I'm in an overly emotional state, it just doesn't, it just doesn't fare well, right? It's, it's like now I'm communicating from a place of being hurt and I'm lashing out with my words and it just, it, it may be too much, okay? So if you guys can... Just know emotions are definitely going to be an obstacle. Some of you guys may be sick or getting sick, okay? But the outcome here is the heart of wands, which I like because we go from, you know, an energy of being blocked to an outcome of the heart of wands, some type of movement forward. Why is this the outcome? With the six of cups, possibly a Scorpio, something from your past, or maybe a celebration. You may be going out with friends. Uh, possibly in Aries or a Scorpio or a Libra, okay? We have the Emperor with Justice. Something's made right here, okay? Some of you guys are like, listen, I'm filing my taxes, okay? I'm getting money for those kids, so go ahead and pay me, hello. Um, but I also feel like something's being made right, something's being made whole, something that you've been waiting for. Something definitely comes in for you guys, which is beautiful. But it's something that makes you feel very good. What do you want me to tell Virgo about this? What, what do you want me to tell Virgo about the outcome for this week? Okay, one more time. What do you want me to tell Virgo about the outcome? The Eight of Wands. Okay, there is going to be news and there is going to be communication on forward movement. Where is this going towards? Hold on. Where, where is this Eight of Wands going towards? Where is Eight of Wands going towards? Okay. The Queen of Cups with the Sun. The King of Wands reversed. If some of you guys are dealing with a Leo... I feel like there may be some type of something you find out that you don't like. Maybe something is said with this person that bothers you. Because the King of Wands is reversed. Let me ask one more time, though, because I, I want to be very clear with what they want me to say to you. 
there is some type of karmatic justice. Like maybe some of you guys are getting a payout, but there's something here where the scales are set right. Like, and this can actually be you being balanced, right? Because here it's like you're too emotional and then your emotions are getting the best of you, which is now messing with you mentally. Um, so maybe now you're finally in a place where your emotions are, are in balance, I should say. Returning to like a piece of like harmony and that type of thing. Why is the eight of wands here? Or what's being, what's being communicated? Or what's the news on? Some of you may be getting the house you wanted or the house that you applied for. Something that you've been hoping for. Possibly an Aquarius or a Aries, Venus and Aries. Yeah, this is good. Something you've been hoping for. It's at that place where there is that level of growth. It's like you waited it out. You also made the right decision. Also, a father figure may, um, for those of you that your father's passed away, maybe there's some type of payout here. Maybe, like, not payout, but maybe, like, um, you receive something, some type of money. Um, or this is a boss. Like, something's being communicated that sets you up for a level of stability moving forward um, into the future. Okay? If you want to purchase the extended, uh, we're going to go over love, money, spiritual shadow work, and advice. Um, thank you so much. I love you guys and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.